Hello and welcome to ESPN Cricket Info Dailies. I'm Ronald Kapoor with the top cricket news this Monday. First up, Shimron Hetmeyer and Shea Hope smash hundreds as the West Indies win the first ODI against India at Chennai. Mitchell Stark leads Australia to a crushing win over New Zealand in the first test at Perth. And Abid Ali and Babar Azam hit hundreds as the first test against Sri Lanka ends in a draw at Rawalpindi. Starting off with the result of the first ODI between India and the West Indies at Chennai and hundreds from Shimron Hetmeyer and Shai Hope powered the visitors to a comfortable eight-wicket win at the Chidambaram Stadium. Both batsmen put on a match-winning 218-run partnership for the second wicket, a record for the Windies in a run chase, with Hetmeyer smashing his fifth ODI ton and a career-best 139 of just 106 balls, while Hope, scoring his eighth ODI century, saw the chase through with 13 balls to spare. With the ball, the West Indies put in an all-round bowling effort to keep India's top three quiet and in spite of Rishabh Pant and Shreya Sayer's half-centuries, restricted the hosts to 287 for 8 from their 50 overs. Moving on to the result of the first test between Australia and New Zealand at Perth, where the hosts continued their dominance in test cricket this home season with a crushing 296-run win over New Zealand at the Perth Stadium. Australia resumed day four at 167 for six in their second innings, declaring after batting just over 12 overs at 217 for nine, leaving New Zealand a target of 468 in the final innings. Mitchell Stark, who picked up a fifer in the first innings, added another four to his tally in the second, with Nathan Lyon and Pat Cummins sharing the rest of the wickets between them to wrap up New Zealand's final innings in 65.3 overs and take a 1-0 lead in the three-match series. And finally, from Perth to Pakistan, and Abid Ali and Babar Azam lit up the final day of what has been a dreary and frustrating first test between Pakistan and Sri Lanka at Rawalpindi, which inevitably ended in a draw. In a match that was usually anticipated to mark the return of test cricket on Pakistan soil, only 167 overs of play were possible over the five days after constant rain interruptions. Pakistan got to bat 70 of those on day 5, after Sri Lanka declared their innings at 3.08 for 6 from 97 overs, once Dhananjaya De Silva got to his 6th test match done. The home crowd was then treated to two fine hundreds from their own team, first from 32-year-old Abid Ali on his test debut, and then from Babar Azam, who registered his third test done and a first on home soil.